Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to create a brand new web map in ArcGIS Online from the Arc Pro project that we uh, just created by importing it from ArcMap. This is a very powerful tool because it allows us to take this data that is on our, our desktop and push it out there and allow multiple people uh, to use it. People that are inside our organization, people that are outside of our organization, or even people uh, with the, that, that don't have an Esri login at all. We can share this with the general public if we want to. Uh, it's really easy to set this up and uh, the way you do it is by going to the share tab in Arc Pro and create it and clicking the web map. The web map uh, box shows up. We have to type in a few things. We have to put in a summary. And uh, we need to set a configuration. I'm going to set it as editable. Because if you set it as editable, we can also view this from our phones in our collector, which is really cool. Uh, specify the folder we want to put it in, and then we hit share. And once we do that, this will take all that information and we'll upload it all to ArcGIS Online and allow us to configure uh, the web map from there. I'm not going to do that because it takes a lot of time. And in the interest of keeping the video short, uh, I did it already. So we uh, go to www.arcgs online and we can do that quick. ArcGS online and sign in using your username and password. And I know where mine is. It is way down here at the bottom in training 2022. And it created this web map and this feature layer. Uh, one more thing to note, you can see that the sharing is only shared to the owner, which is me. So no one else can see this data but me right now. And it will be the same way for you when you uh, share this information out there. So we'll go to the web map. And you can see that we have all of the different data layers in here. This is all the stuff that came that came with it, and we just published it all up. Here it is, and we can view it in the map viewer. And here it is. All this information resides in ArcGIS Online now. And we can share this with other people. All they have to do is go to the web link, and, and here it is. Another really interesting uh, thing about this web map is it is also accessible on your mobile devices. So if you have a, a login and you download a collector for ArcGIS on your phone, this web map will be available to you. And I will show a quick video of that as well. But all of your stuff is here. Um, you can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, you know, you can select feature identify and, and view all the information right here. So this is really handy. Uh, the only real kicker to web mapping is it's difficult to search. So I think the best way to do that, and this is where it starts to get a little complicated. And this is where formal training in Arc GIS Online wouldn't hurt. But what you can do is, we'll go back, we can create a web app with Web App Builder. And I will do that quickly so that we can we can make something that is even better suited for viewing online. Uh, there's a few different uh, things you can do here. What uh, we'll do is we'll go to the tab theme, and uh, th that's going to set uh, up. All these are different. They make they make things look a lot different. And uh, you can do all sorts of interesting things with these with this web app. You can customize them however you'd like. But in the order of expediting things, we'll go to the widget. I know uh, the search is very important to set this up. Uh, 
I'm going to get rid of this and add the search source so we can search parcels. And uh, we can also search address points. Okay. Uh, what you need to do is you need to specify which search fields you're going to search. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make the address field searchable. And for parcels, we're going to add a few more things. We're going to add parcel ID, owner one, owner two, property address, and mailing address. All of these things, when you type in to the search, it will search in these fields. This is uh, really important to do if you're going to make it function correctly. Another thing that you can do, we, we can uh, add a widget and we can uh, add something called a smart editor. This will allow us to edit features if we want to. And in here, you can see that we have all these different things editable, but maybe we don't want to edit city boundaries or roads or plats or sections or townships. Maybe we just want to edit parcels and address points. And then we'll check allow delete, so that way we can delete features if we want to. And hit OK. The last thing that I'll do is I'll put in the widget editor, and uh, we'll put the measure tool in. And uh, the default area unit is acres, default length unit. Let's change it to feet. And maybe we can also put a print in there as well. And this is a rough view of what our uh, app is going to look like. We'll save this. And we'll launch it. And now we've gone to having our project uh, that was an Arc Map. We've imported it to Arc Pro, and now we've published it out to ArcGIS Online and created a, a, a web app that we can share, which is pretty neat. So um, if we zoom in a little tighter and we're looking around, we can identify things. Or we can search uh, 3867. We can see that uh, if we type in that parcel ID, we can search that way. Or if you want, we can search by name. And this is a list of all the different uh, parcels that show up with that name. Uh, we can also search by address. So this is really handy. Another thing that we can do, we can open up our Smart Editor even. And uh, if we wanted to, we could click these three dots and load that into the Smart Editor. And we could change. We can make edits. Or we could even uh, zoom in a little tighter. We could even create new features, like address points, for example. We could, we could create a new parcel, too. But we could create a new address if we wanted to. And there's our brand new address point. And we could delete it if we wanted to as well. Uh, we got we could delete that one. And it's gone. So uh, yeah, this is really handy. Uh, the last thing that we can do is um, We'll go back to our training map and we'll go to home and content. The last thing that we need to do is share this. So here's our web mapping application. In order to share this with people, we click right here and we can change it. I'll share this with all members of my organization and hit save. And it's going to tell me that I need to update uh, this layer inside.
we hit update and now all the people in my organization can use this the last thing that we can do is we can scroll down here and get the URL copy that and this is the URL if you send this URL to someone then they can use it as well provided they have an Esri username and password uh, the last thing that I want to show you is how to access this using uh, your phone and uh, I will do that in a separate video I hope this was informative if you have questions uh, feel free to to reach out and ask and uh, we will talk to you in the next video.